Hello everyone, my name is James Huntington Schulke, and this is my kiln. This is where I bring dry, glazed projects, load them in, set the temperature at cone 6, wait a few days for it to fire and cool down, then I unload them and bring them out all finished. Today I'm going to show you how I load this kiln. Let's get started. So while I'm loading the kiln, I have several shelves to add more layers so I can add more projects. This base layer right at the bottom, I like to add the bigger projects down there. So then as the layers get taller and taller and they become more delicate projects, I can handle them a lot easier up here than I can when I'm reaching all the way down here. While I'm looking for projects to load up, I gotta empty the crates that I brought down. Now, a project like this, it's thicker, and so luckily it's been hollowed out, but because of that, I wanna make sure that it's raised up so the airflow can still go in and out. If it's flat against the surface, it doesn't have that much airflow. So I have these little supports, these stilts, to help raise it up just a little bit. So while I'm sitting in these projects, the glaze, when it's inside, becomes red hot and sticky. So I wanna make sure that none of the projects are touching each other. I also wanna leave enough space around each project for airflow to go around. To make sure all the projects heat up evenly and all the glaze that you put on there is the same shade of glaze all the way around. For if one side is too hot, one side is too cold, they may turn out slightly different shades. So now that I've set up that first layer pretty well, now I can get smaller projects and set them in the gaps. All right, I'm ready for my next layer. I'm gonna get these stilts. I'm gonna set two on the edges. One a little staggered in the middle. I'm gonna get these shorter stilts. Do the same thing. Two on the side. One staggered slightly in the middle. That will allow these half shelves to rest ready on those stilts. One a little shorter. And one a little taller. Having those stilts staggered like that allows some airflow to go in. So it doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too cold. So now that I have a new shelf, I can start adding more projects. So there are certain projects that have gotten just a little bit of glaze on the bottom. That's no problem. I can use one of these stilts and set it right here to raise it up. So it won't be touching the shelf and it won't fuse down there. I also have these little bed of nails right here. They just have some metal pieces sticking out that can withstand the high temperatures that this kiln goes to. And it rests right on top of there where a stilt may accidentally touch the glaze right here. If these little metal spikes touch it, it'll be okay because they can pull right off. All right, that's another layer done. So I'm gonna get these taller stilts and set them on the shorter shelf. And I'm gonna get these ones, shorter stilts, set them on the taller shelf. Now it's even. So I can get another full shelf.
very carefully set that in. And that's how I load my kiln. Now that everything's all loaded up, I'm going to close the lid right here. Latch the lid closed. These right here are vent caps. They keep the heat in and also keep moisture and other things out. I'm going to take the top one out and that'll allow fumes that come off the glazes and the clay to come right out. It'll also allow any moisture that's still on the clay to be vented out nice and safely. And then finally, I'm gonna turn on the computer, wait for it to stop waiting. It is an idle, so I'm going to hit slow glaze, hit enter, cone five, hold which means it's going to get to peak temperature and i'm going to hold it for 30 minutes and it's all set something that i like to do as a precaution as well is there's this preheat button and i like to set it for about two hours and all that means is that it gets to above 100 degrees and dries out anything at a nice slow temperature just in case i missed anything so that allows the projects that i load in to not explode and I hit enter, everything's all set up. So then I hit start. You can see that it says on, it's gonna click. Now it started. And so it's gonna heat up for about 16 hours, maybe a little bit longer. And then it'll reach its peak temperature and then it'll stay there for about 30 minutes and then very gently cool down. And after that, I undo everything I just did. I open the latch, start loading up all the projects into the crates, and then they're all finished. I hope you found this video helpful and relaxing. Thank you for watching. Keep on being artful.